let's try to do this paper very quickly this is June 2005 C1 so the first question says this is indices so let's do this write down the value of 8 to the power 1 by 3 so 8 to the power 1 by 3 is 2 cubed to the power 1 by 3 if you have a power over a power you multiply the power so that becomes 3 times 1 by 3 so it is 2 done let's do the next one let me do it here in the exam please do it below it like this but for space let me do it here so 8 to the power minus 2 by 3 first of all let's make it positive if you have a negative power if you take it downstairs it becomes positive so this becomes 2 by 3 and be careful to write it clearly so that it does not look as if it's a fraction remember this is a power so this would be 2 cubed to the power 2 by 3 so into 2 by 3 so this and this cancels 2 square is 4 so 1 by 4 so that's the answer this is indices okay question number 2 says this is calculus so we have y equals to this first of all to find the derivative we need to simplify this x square becomes upstairs it becomes x to the power minus 2 so therefore derivative of y is dy by dx equals to derivative of 6x is 6 derivative of minus 4x to the power minus 2 is minus 4 into minus 2 is plus 8 and this power reduced by 1 this would be minus 3 let me do the next one question number b is integration so integration of y y is going to be 6x minus 4 x to the power minus 2 this is a completely different sum this is integration so integration means the power increases by 1 so 6x means 6x squared by 2 then minus 4 would be minus 4 x to the power minus 2 would be x to the power minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 divided by minus 1 remember this power is repeated downstairs and we have a plus c if we simplify this, this and this cancels, we write 3x squared. This minus and this minus cancels and becomes plus. So 4x to the power minus 1 plus c. Okay, now question number c, 3. In question number 3, <coughs> what we have is completing the square. So let me do it here. Completing the square says that we have to, whenever they say write it in this format, it means completing the square. Remember that. So x squared minus 8x minus 29 has to be expressed in this format which means completing the square so this would be a square minus 2 a b is 4 because 4 to the 8 so then we have to write an additional b square which is 4 square then we have to write minus b square which is minus 4 square minus 29 so that would be a square minus 2 a b plus b squared would be a minus b whole squared which is x minus 4 whole squared now we can break it down minus 4 squared is minus 16 minus 29 so this would be x minus 4 whole squared minus this is going to be 45 now let me check with the calculator so it's going to be minus 16 minus 29 which is minus 45 okay so answer we have to write down the value of a and b so a is going to be minus 4 and b is going to be minus 45 in question number b we have to solve this equation so x squared minus 8x minus 29 equal to 0 remember uh, in quadratics when we solve this we can obviously solve it using the quadratic formula like this x equals to minus b plus minus root over b square which is minus 8 whole squared minus 4 a a is the coefficient of x square and c is minus 29 divided by twice a so a is 1 so we can actually solve it like this but I recommend that instead of doing this if you solve it in some the previous sum that will be much better that means instead of this expression in the previous sum we have expressed this so this and this they are equal minus 4 whole squared minus 45 equals to 0 instead of this you can write this now it will be easier to solve it this way so x minus 4 whole squared equals to 45 we send this to the other side and then we write therefore x minus 4 equals to remember plus minus square root of 45 so this would be x equals to 4 plus minus root over 45 see much this is much easier to do and much simpler and it is recommended you do it like that but look the answer has to be plus minus square root of 5 so let's write it in this way so 4 plus minus root over so 45 can be broken down whenever you have something inside the square 
square root write it to the power of 2 so 45 is 9 5 is a 45 9 is 3 squared into 5 so we can write this as 4 plus minus 3 square becomes root 3 square is 3 root 5 so now it has been shown so this is the answer so let's move on to the next one this is question number 4 question number 4 is sketching let's start with this this is sketching question number A so we have this this is x-axis this is y-axis this is origin now remember this is the original picture y equals to fx now this transformation y equals to 3fx let me remind you this means this is stretching and this is the same as afx so in afx what you do you multiply the y coordinates with a and x is same as before so that's what happens so for doing that we have to remember the picture would be the same so let's draw the picture 0 would be 0 6 would be 6 and the x coordinate here 3 would be absolutely same 3 so what we have to do multiply 3 with the y coordinate which is 5 so 5 3 is a 15 so that's stretching and then question number b is fx plus 2 let's draw this this is x this is y this is origin now first of all remember that this is called translation any type of movement left or right it's translation so that means f x plus a is going to be the opposite x minus a meaning it will go backwards remember it's a movement backwards so our sketching is going to be this picture would go backwards it would go in this direction backwards so 0 minus 2 because it is plus 2 it will be minus 2 0 minus 2 is minus 2 so this will be minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 so it will be 4 3 minus 2 would be 1 so the picture would be like this and this would be 1 and the y coordinate will remain unchanged so this has shifted by 2 units so this is the information and on each diagram show clearly the coordinates of the maximum point and each of the point at which the curve crosses the x-axis we have shown this and we have shown this so let's move on to the next one this is solving simultaneous equation so let's use this equation x minus 2y equals to 1 as our equation 1 x equals to 1 plus 2y we can consider this to be equation 1 and let's keep this as it is because it is a quadratic equation equals to 29 as equation 2 so putting x if we put this x looks like and this if we put this x here so it would be x square means 1 plus 2y whole squared plus y squared equals to 29 so let's break this down a plus b whole squared it will be a squared 1 squared is 1 2ab means 2 into 1 into 2 into y that will be 4y plus b squared this would be 4y squared remember it's a common mistake to write 2y squared as 2y squared no it would be 2y whole squared so it will be 2 squared 4 y squared y so plus y squared equals to 29 the next line would be 4y squared plus y squared is 5y squared plus 4y now 1 minus 29 is going to be minus 28 equals to 0 so 1 minus 29 is 28 let me move over here so this would be let's do middle term break now so middle term break rule is you do this multiplied by this so 5 into 28 is going to be let me check so 5 times 28 it's 140 so we need 140 to break the middle now we have 14 4 here so 140 means 10 14 is a 140 so we can get 4 very easily so 5y squared plus 14y minus 10y minus 28 equals to 0 so middle term break we need 4 so multiply this is 140 14 10 is a 140 so let's take y common here so it will be 5y plus 14 and let's take two common here and we'll get 5y plus 14 equals to 0 so from this two we can take 5y plus 14 common 
and here we get y minus 2 equals to 0 so so we are done therefore y equals to minus 14 by 5 or y equals to 2 we got two values of y but remember so for solving simultaneous equation we also need the values of x corresponding values of x when y equals to minus 14 by 5 x equals to let's put it here 1 plus 2 minus 14 by 5 this will be pretty cool looking it would be 1 2 into it's always a good idea to do some of the calculation in the head so plus but here let's do it directly 2 into minus 14 by 5 would be minus 14 by 5 bracket closed this would be let me use shift abc minus 23 by 5 so this is minus 23 by 5 and when y equals to 2 x equals to 1 plus twice y y is 2 so this is going to be 5 so answer uh, x equals to minus 23 by 5 y equals to minus 14 by 5 and x equals to 5 y equals to 2 so this is the answer let's move on to the next one it is inequality so let's do question number a 3 times 2x plus 1 greater than 5 minus 2x okay this is a linear inequality 3 to the 6x plus 3 greater than minus twice x remember in linear inequality you have to bring all the x on the left hand side so 6x plus 2x greater than 5 minus 3 now there is some confusion when to reverse this inequality sign we do not reverse it when you change sides from left to right we don't do it we just do it if we divide or multiply by negative sign so here it will not be reversed so 6 plus 2 is 8x greater than 5 minus 3 is 2 so that means therefore x would be greater than 2 by 8 so x would be greater than 1 by 4 now they said write down the set of values of x you might want to write it down as x colon x is greater than 1 by 4 this symbol means set of values in question number b we have a quadratic inequality x to x squared minus 7 x plus 3 greater than 0 here we will do middle term break 2 3 is a 6 so 2 x squared 6 1 is a 6 so 6 x minus x plus 3 greater than 0 if you take 2 x common x minus 3 minus 1 x minus 3 greater than 0 so we write x minus 3 2 x minus 1 greater than 0 and remember when you have a greater symbol like this greater inequality symbol what we do we write x is greater than the larger value now here x equals to 3 is the larger value so x is greater than 3 or x is less than the smaller value which is half so the answer can be written as a set x colon x is greater than 3 or means union x is less than half and you complete the set now the final one is we have to select the answer now when you have to select the answer remember the three rules the three rules are they are, are they going the same side or are they going in the opposite side or how how are they behaving so for that let me we come over here for question number C and let me draw a number line a number line is a line with a bunch of numbers so the first one is x is greater than 1 by 4 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 so white circle greater than means right hand side arrow then we have x is less than half half means 0 0.5 so this is half white circle to the left less than and then greater than 3 this is 3 again white circle to the right black circle means if there was an equal to sign otherwise it's a white circle so now we have to select first of all are anything going in the same direction well nothing because this path is broken stopped by this so it's not going in the same direction so there is nothing is going in the same direction now the step two is are they going head to head these two are going head to head so the answer would be x is between 1 by 4 to 1 by 2 now step 3 is is there anything left over yes this thing is left over so we write or x is greater than 3 
So this is the answer. The answer can be written in set format x colon 1 by 4 to half or, or means union x is greater than 3. So that's how it is working.